For 10 years, Walt Disney Concert Hall in downtown Los Angeles has been a unique locus for music, the arts, and architecture. Since opening in October of 2003, it has become one of the most recognizable symbols of Los Angeles, not to mention one of the best known concert halls the world over. From Frank Gehry's first sketches to last night's concert, Walt Disney Concert Hall stands as a monument to the forward-thinking artistic minds of the Los Angeles Philharmonic, the city of Los Angeles, and concert goers who walk through these doors every season. Sitting on four acres atop Bunker Hill, this monument to music serves as a study in contrasts that manages to find the balance between imposing and inviting. With its shiny steel-clad exterior and warm, expansive interior, the design reflects Geary's vision of being built from the inside out. With pinpoint acoustics overseen by master acoustician Yasuhisa Toyota, Walt Disney Concert Hall is meant to be seen, heard, and experienced by all. The first thing visitors notice on arriving at the hall is its breathtaking exterior. Sheathed in stainless steel, visitors have said the lines and curves of Walt Disney Concert Hall remind them of ships, sails, and whatever else the imagination can conjure. But it's really upon entering that the true purpose of Gary's creation comes into full view. For as grand as it is from the outside, its well-lit, welcoming, and warm interior begins with the lobby's Douglas fur-wrapped tree columns and continues until one takes a seat in the main auditorium. Just above the main lobby is one of Walt Disney Concert Hall's two interior performance spaces, the dramatic yet intimate BP Hall. Like the main auditorium, BP Hall was built with both acoustics and the concert goer in mind and hosts pre-concert talks, musical performances, receptions, and private events. Walking past BP Hall, you'll come across the Library of Congress Ira Gershwin Gallery, a place where rotating, musically-themed historical exhibits are displayed for the public to enjoy. Next up is one of the spaces dedicated to thanking the many who helped make Lillian Disney's vision a reality. Features throughout the concert hall are named for benefactors, such as the sweeping Henry Mancini family staircase, which provides a unique, colorful view of BP Hall. After climbing the Mancini staircase, you'll find another wall with many names on it. The subtle yet striking Major Gifts Donor Wall proudly commemorates those individuals and organizations instrumental in Walt Disney Concert Hall's conception and construction. And it's fitting that such recognition is bestowed here where it can remind guests and concertgoers of the effort and generosity of the many arts patrons who work together to make Walt Disney Concert Hall happen just before they enter the breathtaking main auditorium. Whether in the highest reaches of the balcony or in the front orchestra, Concert goers can be assured that they're seeing and hearing exactly what architect Frank Geary and acoustician Yasuhisa Toyota intended. Like the lobby, the main auditorium features the warm tones of Douglas fir and Alaskan yellow cedar for visual and acoustical purposes. And the wildflower design of the seat covering adds a striking dimension to the light-infused openness of the hall. But of all the eye-catching features in the auditorium, perhaps the most iconic is the Walt Disney Concert Hall organ, a collaborative design of Frank Geary and organ builder Manuel Rosales. Some have referred to it as the French fries. Composer Terry Riley dubbed it Hurricane Mama. But whatever you call it, the Walt Disney Concert Hall organ demands your attention wherever you're seated. In many ways, the organ reflects Frank Geary's vision for both concert hall and auditorium writ large. A marriage of form and function a larger-than-life set piece that still manages not to overwhelm by maintaining a human scale. The auditorium, which envelops up to 2,400 concert goers with its welcoming yet lofty design, is the perfect home not only for the LA Phil, but for the entire city of Los Angeles.
The final stop of any tour of the hall might also be its most surprising, the Walt Disney Concert Hall Community Garden on the third level. The Community Garden features an outdoor performance space and landscaping that evokes Southern California and provides a break from the bustling city that surrounds the hall. The garden is open to all and welcomes everyone who passes through its gates free of charge. The centerpiece of the community garden is without a doubt the Lillian Disney Fountain. Inscribed with a rose for Lily, the fountain is undeniably beautiful and unmistakably geary. Its rose shape echoes features found throughout Walt Disney Concert Hall, such as the inverted tulip of the Founders Room, and is covered with a mosaic of artfully broken pieces of Delft china. The fountain, one of the most photographed features of Walt Disney Concert Hall, is Geary's tribute to the woman whose gift made them. At its most basic, Walt Disney Concert Hall is a home, a home to the LA Phil, its musicians and employees, and a home for the arts in Los Angeles. And, as millions of visitors each year can attest, this monument to the power, grandeur, and humanity of the arts is one of a kind. Seen all over the world in movies, television shows, and commercials, perhaps no other building better symbolizes the creative spirit of the city that houses it. A concert hall, an educational space, a park, an office, and a cultural landmark all rolled into one. Walt Disney Concert Hall represents the best of the city of Los Angeles and the performing arts, and the LA Phil is proud to call it home. <laughs>